Right, slave from Splatter Plastic. Guess what? I got an honest to God mail delivery. Not your flea based stuff, an honest to God mail delivery from these good people. Actually, I got two. I'm going to show one in this video, I'm going to show one in another one. So, don't do unboxings. So, I've already unboxed it and had a little bit of a look. So, today, come after what about a year maybe of teasing letting you know that it's coming out it's coming out it's not coming out it's been delayed it's not been delayed you got a super version super version comes out ages ago waiting for the retail one orders it finally come henry portrait of a serial killer oh my god if you've not seen henry portrait of a serial killer rush out and buy it it is the one of the most brutal brutal serial killer movies ever ever put onto celluloid and um mr rucker's first film so if you like guardians of the galaxy he ain't no blue guy in this he ain't no mary poppins in this so henry portrait of serial killer come out in about i'm gonna say it's gotta be like 1990 91 something like that the score was done by a dude called Robert McNaughton. I'm not really going to go too deep into it on this, obviously, because I'm, I really want to do like a full episode on this. Um, it's an amazing record. So let's have a look at the cover. So we've got art by, if memory serves, a dude called Rich Kelly. And it's really, really nice. So he's done it kind of like looking at it on a, like a VHS or something like that. So you got all them bars going across. Back cover is Henry obviously stalking a victim. All the track listings across the top. A little bit of credits there. Obligatory Waxwork logo. Which is... Love it, man. Love the Waxwork logo. And um, the inside cover. It's, it's, a bit, it's a bit dodged, this. So I'm just going to pan it across. So you hopefully will get it all in. So the inside cover is um, the scene where Henry and Otis just kill the prostitutes inside the record you get our card and but it is all like the credits for the actual songs that were on this uh this this this, this release plus the uh the tv scene if you haven't again if you've seen the movie you'll you'll know what the tv scene is what else do we get Waxworks are starting to do cool things again now, man. We're starting to get cool things in packages again. So we got, obviously, like a three hype sticker off the front. So Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, original motion picture soundtrack by Robert McNaughton, Ken Hale and Stephen A. Jones, 180 grand colour vinyl, printed insert and artwork by Rich Kelly. Should have really looked at that first rather than just trying to find it tiny on the little back of the record, shouldn't I? What else have we got? Waxworks record sticker. Remember when Rock Waxworks used to give you stickers with everything and then they stopped. And now they've started again. Boss. But we're all good with record covers and artists and news on the score. We all love a bit of a sticker. We all love Kyle for, uh, for throwing it out to us. And um, kind of love the coasters that you're giving it now. Awesome stuff, man. One of the things that blew me away with this was when the record actually come. They're starting to put them in these, um, we call like master sleeves or something like that. Original master series sleeves, and they're really like non-static sleeves. I think that they're, they're going to be costing a pretty penny, like so. I think we're going to be getting charged for these pretty soon, like in, I don't know, the shipping or something like that. But anyway, I digress. Let's have a little look at the record, shall we? Now I seen this picture ages and ages ago, and it blew me away absolutely blew me away look at that clear of blood splattered vinyl you've got a serial killer like movie like Henry portrait of a serial killer you're not gonna have that on like neon pink vinyl you want it on a blood splatter i think the only other record i've got looking like this was maybe a churchy mizzou record and that from dust till dawn but this blows it out of the water man look at that it's so cool it's the inner label obviously the waxworks logo sides a and side b um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer and all the little bits of credits on there but if you flip it over we have got that scene from the end of the movie spoilers, sorry if you've not seen it that scene from the end of the movie where um, Otis gets paled in the eye 
Oof, it's horrible, man. I remember watching this when I was a kid when I come out, I went to the pitches to see it with my mate in school. And we kind of, kind of like that. We were old enough to get in. And um, that scene at the end just blew me away. Actual record itself, like I say, I've, I, it's not an unboxing because I unboxed it this morning and um, had a little bit of a listen to it. The record itself is terrifying. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible record. If you know what the score for Henry is, there's a big, like, drone synth going through it and like the score is just like bam 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 bam, bam. big drums boom, boom. it's interspersed with like really cheesy 80s kinds of like country rock and the movie is very polarizing in that respect where it's like they're all sitting there having dinner and there's like this little dysfunctional family thing going on and then they'll go out and kill somebody and the 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 actual record does this perfectly. So they're all sitting there having dinner and you get like the country themes going on. And then it'll just go into this big drone and it'll be, oh, it's just horrible when you're there, like the killings on the record. It's a very, very dialogue heavy record. So if you're not into dialogue on records from movies, it's probably not your cup of tea. Personally, I absolutely adore it. And the dialogue that they've chose to use for this is amazing because it oh man you, you need to listen to it. it it'll twist your tiny melon it, it, it'll, it'll it'll make you think bad things it's so cool highly 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 recommend going out and, uh, and getting it and if you haven't seen it go out and watch it as well man because it's so good it's so such a good movie um we are definitely doing a review episode on this soon um, lockdown's finished so we can come back so we're going to be coming back with like poltergeist because we wanted to do a big hitter my idea for the future is to do like a serial killer trilogy so i want to do Sons of the lambs man hunter and henry boss rated for serial killer we also want to do like a little italia we, i think we're going to try and go for like when we come back we're going to go for like seasons so we're doing like an italian season a serial killer season and to be honest with you whatever we want to do because it's splatter plastic and it's boss and we love doing it and we can't wait to start getting new episodes out to you so until then stay tuned stay safe stay sick sp out <laughs>